right, this is a quick road test video. And uh, this is for a Lexus IS250. And this is the top of the range SEL version. Uh, this particular car is registered FL07 LGF. And mileage at the start of the road test is 58,905 miles. Reason for the road tests is simple. We want customers to see the cars in operation prior to coming to see us. Um, that way, if there's any issues relating to the car, we can and we do mention them on video. I don't skimp. If there's something that I need to report, I do do it. Um, hopefully not, but that, that's just the way it is. Um, also, we're now selling to customers from all over the near continent and extremes of the UK. And we just feel it's right that people get to see the cars in operation prior to coming to see us. And it is the very car advertised that you're seeing video today. Also worth pointing out, the road tests are done on exactly the same road test route as any prospective buyer will be driving the car on. So in that sense, hopefully should be representative of what you should feel and experience for yourself. As you can probably see from the video, we're on very quiet country roads. Um, it means basically, rather than sort of going to sort of city centres to look at cars, as we used to be, um, you now have opportunity to drive a car in a much more peaceful environment, which means you can concentrate on the vehicle itself, rather than worrying about kind of what lane to be in, where you need to be going. So, starting with the car, it's been an extraordinarily well looked after vehicle, not only mechanically, but cosmetically as well. Very, 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 very rarely do we get a car as beautifully maintained and looked after as this particular car. As soon as you start the car, engine settles to an absolutely silent idle. It's, it's very, very smooth. I drove the car back last night and it drove absolutely perfectly. So I could make this a short video, but I won't. Uh, there's no warning lights on the dashboard relating to the car, uh, engine or any other part of the car for that matter. Um, engine is sweet in operation pulls really really well um, very very refined at speed on the motorway so much so you've really got to keep an eye on your speed because it's a very very quiet machine but it matches the gearbox absolutely beautifully but i cannot find a fault with the engine in any way shape or form likewise gearbox i mean it's clearly a low mileage car so i wouldn't expect anything but it's it's a wonderfully smooth shifting gearbox um, matches the engine brilliantly well um, it, it's the right amount of power for the engine for the end car size sometimes car manufacturers put in engines a bit too small and you have to work the engines and the gearboxes as a result very hard indeed but this is a, a wonderful combination there isn't an ounce of wear in the gearbox at all um, as you should always do selecting from neutral to re uh, reverse or into drive when stationary and when the engine's warm. If there's a delay or clunk, it means it could be well be internal gearbox wear, but there's nothing on this car, and you wouldn't expect on a Lexus much under a couple hundred thousand miles anyway. So engine, gearbox, powertrain, absolutely perfect. Steering the car, tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations. As I said, I came back at motorway speeds yesterday, and there was not a shimmy or a shudder through the steering at all. Um, also, wonderfully light in operation, uh, sorry, they're precise in operation. Um, you know, obviously, front wheel, the rear wheel drive, so the front wheels aren't getting sort of polluted by sort of torque going through drive shafts, um, and it just makes for a lovely, lovely drive. But the essence of this video is to sort of pick up on any kind of signs of wear, nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Um, likewise, chassis of the vehicle not even a hint of a sort of a clonk or a bang from underneath and um, again on any car including Lexus if it's done you know pure town driving over potholed roads or sleeping policemen um, you know cars can just feel that little bit looser with the extra wear and extra demands on the suspension but this feels genuinely and I hate to say it but it feels absolutely like brand new to drive it's just got a tightness about it which you get when you drive out of a showroom it's wonderful this is one of the worst roads, which is why I include it on the um, test drive route, because it's quite potholed, so if there's any imperfections on the car, it manifests itself on here. Uh, brakes on the car, lovely solid brake pedal. Um, when it went through pre-delivery inspection this morning, 
basically there was nothing on the car all the tires were really good loads of brake pad wear left on the vehicle pads are really good and as a result you know when you hit the brake pedal you've got a solid powerful brake um, no pulsing no vibrations coming back through the brake pedal at all um, so all in really really fine order equally you know they're very 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 quiet cars so if you know should there be a poorly fitted windscreen you know if it had been replaced or if someone had damaged the door seal you'd know about it straight away um, but there's nothing it's a really beautifully refined car so just setting the cruise control making that function sure that function works which it does absolutely perfectly also on the gearbox you've got the option to pop it into sport mode where you can do a sequential gear change using the gear lever here that all works beautifully or you can use these um, formula one style paddles on the steering wheel and they work really nicely they're really nicely shaped actually and feel nice and um, you know it's a high quality feel to them um, you know some manufacturers put them on but they have sort of cheap plastic fares which just feel a little bit cheap in your hand but these work really really nicely um, they're not often used but you know if you're doing an overtaking maneuver um, you know it's nice to control what gear you're in and what gear you're going to stay in more importantly um, coming to the interior of the car i love this color combination uh, wasn't always a fan i'm going to be honest with you but you know certainly through winter months um, and in the summer particularly where it doesn't get so hot in the car uh, it's just got a lovely rich warm feeling in here but what this video cannot get across unfortunately is just how beautifully beautifully kept the interior of this car is uh, I cannot find a blemish in here I'm sure if you look really hard you'll find something but it looks in stunning condition I took it in for cleaning this morning uh, for the interior it was in and out within about 15 minutes and that is all you know just a, a light hoover inside the car um, I've rarely if ever seen a car in such beautiful condition as this vehicle inside it is absolutely stunning everything works beautifully built to a wonderfully high standard far far better built in the real world of motoring which i think is kind of from sort of five years and onwards that's where build quality issues come in um, there's not a rattle it just feels you know as it's been carved out of rock it's just a beautiful solidity about it um, but quality of every control all working absolutely beautifully we checked the air conditioning this morning that's got a lovely charge to it obviously because it's an SEL you've got the heated and air conditioned seats and they all work absolutely beautifully I'll put those on I did the heated seats this morning and did the air conditioning but I'll just check them again um, but all working absolutely fantastically well car's got front and rear parking sensors uh, working perfectly again all being checked uh, likewise on the SELs you've got the electric rear blind at the back and again that works exactly as it should you know, it's a wonderfully high specification car I mean it's clearly its natural competitors will be the obvious candidates will be things like, like you know C-Class Mercedes um, BMW 3 Series Audi A4 possibly high-end VW Passat um, but you know if it's your own money you're investing in the car I'd always put it in one of these because basically it gets the best of all of them it's the best built it's the most reliable by country mile and, and that kills all the other competitions that one one reason alone to buy the car um, but on top of that you've got a drive which is less wooden than the Mercedes um, miles better than an A4 which is you know front wheel driving a bit sluggish unless you go for the, the quattro versions but even they're pretty dull in ripple honesty god that seat's cold now wow I'm put it back um, the BMW is obviously the driver's choice of all of them and you know I'll be brutally honest it is um, so long as you keep on top of all the suspension geometry so long as you keep good fresh good quality even treaded tires all around on the car because they can be an animal without it um, this I think strikes a perfect compromise it's beautifully comfortable fantastically refined brilliantly built enjoyable to drive it's sprightly it responds really nicely um, it's just a truly wonderful wonderful car and for what you get for your money which is a huge specification 
it's you know it really is a a, a, a great great buy for you know the private buyer um, obviously you know there's you can you can specify them with the um, sat nav systems which is nice to have on the car I'm not going to deny it is but the reality is people's iPhones and Samsung's and whatever else you want to call them and uh, the, the sat nav systems on those are actually far better than car systems now because they're automatically updated whereas you know the sat nav systems on these is age related to the car so it might be missing quite a lot of modern roads and the you know a, a, a new disc for those systems cost as much as a good um, sat nav on a on a phone or you know from TomTom Tom or otherwise but reality is as I said the purpose of the video is to show it in operation I genuinely cannot fault the car and I would if I could I always do um, but this is by one of the very finest cars we've ever ever had if I've missed anything out in the video not by intensive design please do give me a call and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have